Is there life in our gut galaxy? Yes, there are trillions of microbes like bacteria inside us, and they help us in our day-to-day -day lives. In the beginning, from birth, we have a super important bacteria called Biffy living in our gut. Biffy breaks down milk, so other bacteria can also live in us. Biffy's also good at programming our immune system. As we grow old, so do the bacteria in our gut. Introducing Prevoltella. I get the vitamins out of fruit and vegetables for you. Lactobacillus. I like sugary foods and make lactic acid that keeps bad bacteria out. Bacteroides. I release energy from food for your gut cells and I break down fat to keep you healthy. Rosebaria. I'm an expert in digesting high fibre foods. Clostridium. I live closely with your gut cells to keep bad bacteria out. In low numbers I'm good, but when I grow too much I cause a build up of gas. Together, they are the guardians of the gut. One day in Sam's gut, Bacteroides was cleaning, Prevoltella was digesting, and Roseburia was in the lab, extracting health-giving compounds. All was well. Suddenly... Oh no! There's Salmonella coming in on the food! Come on gang, no one's here to stop us now. Sam is feeling unwell and visits the doctor. The doctor gives Sam antibiotics. Sam takes the antibiotics. And all the Salmonella appear to have gone, but so have many of the good guys and the number of Clostridium are getting dangerously high, until... Biffy, we need your help. OK, Bacteroides, I'll see what I can do. Hmm, we could really do with some fibre in here. I made the traps, but only you can go in there, Lactobacillus. Let's see if this works. Clostridium is running riot. Gut rot, my favourite. We are back. Let me out. I'll clean up so we can get back to normal. I think it's safe now. I'll get rid of these. Are you OK? I think I'm a bit better. Eat some fruit. We'll, we'll be, be back. Back, back to, to work. work. Well done, team. Find out more by visiting us at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition 2018 or visit our website. Hi, I'm Dr Lindsay Hall and I'm the Microbiome Group Leader at the Quadram Institute, which is in Norwich. In 2018, we brought our Guardians of the Gut exhibit to the Royal Society Summer Exhibition, and we had an absolute blast giving tours through our giant walkthrough gut and bringing the world of the microbiome to life to members of the public and school children. Our giant interactive exhibit basically gave everybody a look inside our gut and how the microbes that live there are really important for our health, programming our immune system and even digesting the food that we eat every day. We built the Guardians of the Gut specifically for the Royal Society Summer Exhibition, but we've subsequently taken the gut on tour to different places in the UK, including our local science festival in Norwich and even a music festival when we took it to Latitude. So where are we now with Guardians of the Gut? Well, we've actually spent a lot of time developing a brand new classroom pack. This is super fun, super interactive. There's videos, there's quizzes, there's interactive games, and it's aimed at children between eight and 11, and it allows them to find out a little bit more about the bacterial residents that live within their gut, and also all of the important roles that these microbes play. So please check out our website to find out more and start downloading and start learning. As well as developing our classroom pack, we've been really busy in the lab since 2018, looking at how the early life gut microbiota is really important for infant health. So, what have we been up to? Well, actually, we're about halfway through recruitment of a new mum-baby study called PEARL. And what we're doing is we're collecting samples from mum during pregnancy, at birth, and also from mum and baby post-birth. And what we're trying to do is understand what microbes are associated with healthy pregnancies, how mum might pass on some of these beneficial microbes to her baby at birth, and also looking at the microbes associated with healthy baby development. This is really exciting. We can't wait to complete the study, get all our mums on board and all our babies. And we can't wait to find out how the microbes that live inside us are really important for our health with the ultimate aim of developing brand new therapies to keep mum and baby healthy. Another big study that we've completed 
is we found that supplementing premature babies with beneficial bacteria like bifidobacterium is associated with a whopping 50% reduction in life-threatening diseases such as sepsis and necrotizing enterocolitis. And we've been so excited and thrilled by this work. We've also been busy on the technology front and we've actually developed a new pipeline that's able to very rapidly profile the types of microbes in the preterm infant gut to identify potential pathogens and even what antibiotics these pathogens might be resistant to. This is really important from a clinical perspective as it might help doctors rapidly and quickly come up with new interventions for preterm babies and save more lives. So that's it for Guardians of the Gut, the update. Hopefully that was interesting. Hopefully you found out a little bit more and hopefully I've convinced you about why the microbes that live inside us and on us are really important for our health. So if we look after our microbes, they'll look after us.